The Importance of Building a Strong Workplace Safety Culture. Hi, I'm Kristen Klein, Director of Safety Services for Chesapeake Employers Insurance Company. In this webinar, I'll share with you the importance of building a strong safety culture in your organization and give you some examples of what this looks like and what it doesn't look like. We will make a strong business case for having a positive safety culture in your workplace and you will see how it makes good financial sense for any sized organization. What is a poor workplace safety culture? Perhaps we can better understand what a strong workplace safety culture is when we understand its opposite, a poor workplace safety culture. Here are some examples of what a poor safety culture looks like. Management doesn't care about safety. The company has a reactive rather than a proactive approach to accident prevention. In other words, management only thinks about or acts on safety issues after an accident has taken place and people may have been injured, rather than trying to prevent accidents before they even occur. There is a lack of supervision of employees, or the supervisors are not held accountable for the safety of their employees. Safety training for employees is minimal or non-existent. The company has poor hiring practices. For example, the company does not utilize pre-employment drug testing. The company's emphasis is on getting the job done, so they value productivity over safety. Safety is not a number one priority. It falls way down on the list. What is a strong workplace safety culture? Now let's see what makes up a strong workplace safety culture. A safety culture is a broad, organization-wide approach to safety management. A safety culture is the atmosphere created by the shared beliefs, values, practices, and attitudes that exist at a company or organization. Safety culture, or the way safety is perceived, valued, and prioritized in a company, has obvious effects on accident rates, but it also impacts a company's competitiveness, productivity, reliability, and employee morale. Companies with a strong safety culture know that by making safety a priority, they can, they can and do experience positive economic results throughout their organization. The company policy and or mission statement should stress the commitment the company has made to promote safety. It should place safety as an essential priority for the company, equal to other business functions such as productivity and profitability. It should be posted in a conspicuous area and be read by or explained to all employees upon their hiring and repeated, repeatedly throughout the course of their employment. The importance of a strong workplace safety culture. Building a strong workplace safety culture is the single most important thing your company or organization can do to reduce accidents and injuries and the costs associated with them. Why is a safety culture so important in today's businesses? OSHA, Occupational Safety and Health Administration, has studied this issue in depth and has published its findings online. Among OSHA's observations are, it has been observed by OSHA and confirmed by independent research that developing strong safety cultures has the single greatest impact on incident reduction of any process. It is for this single reason that the developing strong safety cultures should be a top priority for all managers and supervisors. These quotes were taken from OSHA online fact sheet on safety and health culture, which is available at www.osha.gov. The business case for safety and health. Businesses spend $170 billion a year on costs associated with occupational injuries and illness, according to OSHA, expenditures that come straight out of company profits. But research has shown that workplaces that establish safety and health management systems can actually reduce their injury and illness costs by 20 to 40 percent. In today's competitive business environment, that can make the difference between an organization's success or failure. How can investing in workplace safety and health improve your company's bottom line? Consider the following statistics. A 2012 study concluded that inspections conducted by California's Division of Occupational Safety and Health, Cal OSHA, reduced injuries with no job loss. The study showed a 9.4% drop in injury claims and a 26% average savings on workers' compensation costs in the four years after the inspection compared to a similar set of uninsp uninspected workplaces. This information was reported by Levine, Toffel, and Johnson in an abstract published in May 2012. 
Companies that did not adequately manage workplace safety and health performed worse financially than those who did from November 2004 to October 2007, according to a Goldman Sachs study published in 2007. More than 60% of chief financial officers in one survey reported that each $1 invested in injury prevention returns $2 or more, according to a CFO survey conducted in 2005 by Liberty Mutual Insurance Company. Furthermore, more than 40% of CFOs cited productivity as the top benefit of an effective workplace safety program, according to this study. There is a direct positive correlation between investment in safety, health, and environmental performance and its subsequent ROI, return on investment, according to a white paper published by the American Society of Safety Engineers in June 2002. You can read about all of these studies online at www.osha.gov. Direct Benefits of a Strong Safety Culture A focus on safety and health can have direct benefits to an organization. These include reduced accidents and injuries, reduced medical insurance costs, reduced workers' compensation insurance costs, financial savings to company, including a favorable experience modifier, or EMOD, better quality of products and services. Indirect benefits of a strong safety culture. A focus on safety and health can have indirect benefits as well. These include increased employee morale, increased productivity, higher quality of goods and services, better labor and management relations, reduced employee turnover, better reputation. Essential elements of a strong safety culture. The four essential elements of a strong safety culture include, one, top-down support, two, employee engagement, three, information and training, four, continuous evaluation and improvement. Strong safety culture connection. Here we have a diagram of what a strong safety culture looks like. Let's examine each element in detail. Top-down support means having support for a strong safety culture from the very top of your organization. The CEO or head of the organization can establish a person or committee to be responsible for the organization's safety. That person or committee may be involved in the following. Sign the safety program's policy statement, speak about safety at employee meetings, walk the walk, be engaged in the process, be transparent about safety findings and solutions, establish a budget for safety. Employee engagement. Employee engagement means involving employees throughout every level of the business or organization in your safety efforts. Involve employees in many ways. Invite employees from all areas to the table to discuss safety. Ask for their opinions on how to perform tasks safely. Emphasize the need to report all incidents, including near misses. Have employees involved in inspections. Listen to employees' comments, ideas, and suggestions. Information and training. Make a commitment to regularly train employees at all levels, especially new employees and even senior employees on safety. Communication is essential. Take suggestions for safety topics. Target training around losses or risks. Be consistent with your messages. Make safety visible throughout your organization. Make safety a regular and expected way to work. Provide coaching. Document your training sessions. Take advantage of available safety resources through Chesapeake employers. These include safety services consultation, safety program and risk assessment evaluations, training on-site and online, Hazard Assessments, Safety University. Our Safety University has Safety Posters and Pocket Guides, Safety Flicks Video Library, Safety Tip and Training Sheets, all available to view online or download. Many materials are available in English and Spanish. Online at www.ceiwc.com backslash Safety University. Continuous evaluation and improvement. Once you have a safety plan in place, don't just file it on a shelf and go about your day. 
Keep it front and center, refer to it often, and refine it as time goes by. Know where you are on the safety culture roadmap. Safety programs and focus will change with the work you do, the time of year, and your employees. Stay open to the facts that there is always room for improvement. Next steps. Creating an effective safety program for your workplace. We invite you to take the next steps in your journey to establishing a strong safety culture in your workplace. View our companion webinar, 10 Steps to Creating an Effective Safety Program in Your Workplace. Read and implement Chesapeake Employer's Guide to Developing an Effective Safety Program. Consult with a safety services representative for help creating or updating your workplace safety program. Contact Chesapeake for assistance. Remember that we are here to help. Contact us for assistance in creating or maintaining your strong safety culture. We are available to help companies and organizations throughout Maryland with their safety initiatives. Chesapeake Employers Insurance Company, Safety Services Department, located at 8722 Lock Raven Boulevard in Towson, Maryland, 21286. Our phone number is 410-494-2000. And our website is www.ceiwc.com. Also visit our Safety University online at www.ceiwc.com backslash safety university.